Namaste. Welcome to this short practice for uh, a sun salutation. This is actually recorded especially for Morag, who asked for a short dynamic practice that would be a thing that she could substitute for her swimming in these cold winter months. So let's see if we can manage that today. So starting on your mat with your feet nice and wide apart, gentle softness in the knees and twisting from side to side. Now, I'm assuming that you're coming to this with uh, not much of a warm up, but if you've done a warm up already, then you can skip straight to the sun salutation part of the practice. Allow a touch of activation in the buttocks and in the abdominal muscles. You can help that happen more naturally just by pressing one foot away and then the other as you twist. But let the shoulders be really heavy and the arms be soft, wrapping the body, gentle tapping. When you're ready, you can gently allow your movement to become smaller and smaller until you're back to standing steady. And then a few shoulder rolls, just to begin to loosen off any holding patterns or tension that you've got in the neck and the shoulders going both ways. And let your head be free here so your uh, neck isn't stuck in one place. Fingertips onto the shoulders and a few larger, more expressive shoulder movements. And in the opposite direction as well. Releasing the arms to the side. Let's get started. So our first sun salutation is always a little bit of a warm up. Um, and perhaps just the first side of the first sun salute is enough of a warm up today. So feet underneath the hips or comfortably apart for you. Try not to do have them too close together on the first round. Stand really tall, turning the palms forward and lengthening through the crown of the head. Take a moment here to really step into your practice, to bring your awareness onto your mat, to feel the body and acknowledge its responses. Develop that conversation. Breathing in here, breathing out the hands to the center of the chest. Breathe in, reaching the arms up, only up on the first round. And as you fold forward, softening the knees, breathing out, hands to feet, head to knees. Here, stepping back with the right foot as far as it naturally goes, opening your chest, inhaling, and holding your breath as you come into plank pose, looking slightly ahead of your mat, pressing through the heels. Exhaling knees, chest, forehead or chin to the floor, pointing the toes and inhaling as you open the chest, looking slightly forward in a low cobra. Exhaling through hands and knees, if you like, up into your first downward facing dog of the day. And in this downward dog, just paddling through the feet, maybe turning the head gently from side to side. Pressing through the hands as well. You can get a little bit more of a sway on if you want to. <clears throat> if that feels useful to the sides of the body and the back of the body. And we aiming to spend around about three to five breaths in downward facing dog before doing a waving vinyasa. So here, we're going to drop the hips to the heels and then press off the feet to round through the upper back, looking back towards the toes until the chest comes between the hands to open into an up dog. Soft elbows, soft knees, and here you can gently sway the chest from side to side, come back to center, press up into your downward dog once more. And from here, bouncing forward. So we're gonna bounce the, the shoulders forward once, twice, 
And then stepping forward as you inhale, the right foot forward, the left knee comes down. Exhaling both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Inhaling to come up, reaching the arms out to the side, reaching up, looking up slightly and exhaling the hands to the center of the chest. Inhaling as you stand in Tadasana, palms facing forward, exhaling, hands to the center of the chest. Inhaling, reaching up and opening the front of the body a little if you'd like to. Exhale, folding forward from the hips, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale, step the left foot back, knee down as you open your chest. Hold your breath as you come into plank pose, look ahead of the mat. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin or forehead to the floor, pointing the toes and inhaling as you roll the shoulder blades together into cobra pose. Exhale, hips up, heels down into downward facing dog and holding for a few breaths as you make any variations of dog that you like. So here, for the first few rounds, it's always good to just keep that paddling going, that conversation between you and the body. That gentle opening that happens with dynamic movement rather than a static hold. And then we'll do a waving vinyasa, so dropping the hips to the heels, pressing off the toes to round through the back, coming into an upward facing dog, soft elbows, soft knees, so it's nice and buoyant. You can gently rock backwards and forwards or side to side if you like. Then coming back through plank into downward facing dog, and we'll bounce forward three times, stepping on the third, bouncing once, twice, and then inhaling as you step the left foot forward, dropping the right knee down, exhaling both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Inhaling to come up, lift the chest, exhaling the hands to namaste, or center of the chest. Inhaling as you stand tall, turning the palms forward. Exhaling, hands to the center of the chest. Inhaling, firm belly and buttocks as you reach the arms up and open the chest. And exhaling, folding forward, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale, step the right foot back, knee to the floor as you open your chest. And then hold your breath as you come into plank pose. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin or forehead. Point your toes and inhale into that really low cobra first on the right side. Exhaling, hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. And this time we're going to keep the knees a little soft and sway the hips from side to side. Keep pressing the chest towards the thighs. Keep lifting in the tailbone a little. Maybe you want to even look underneath one arm and then the other. Coming back to center, one waving vinyasa. Soften the knees, drop the heels, press forward. Shoulders come over the hands. Imagine you're dragging the heels of your hands back as you open into up dog and then press back to plank pose and downward facing dog. Bounce forward once and step on the second bounce. Bouncing forward once. Inhaling the right foot forward as you open your chest. Exhaling both feet to the front, head to feet, hands to knees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Inhaling to come up. And exhaling hands to the center of the chest. Inhaling, turning the palms forward, opening the chest. Exhaling, hands together, center of the chest. Inhaling, firm belly, firm buttocks to reach up and open. Exhale as you fold forward and down. Inhale, stepping the left foot back, knee down, opening the chest. Holding your breath as you come into plank pose, looking ahead of the mat. Exhaling, knees, chest, forehead or chin. Point the toes and then inhale, firming in the buttocks to come up just a little higher. And this time, a gentle sway from side to side with the upper body. Still soft in the elbows, shoulders still down. And then exhaling, hips up, heels down into downward facing dog. And perhaps you're ready to hold your dog a little bit. I personally like to keep it moving. 
And perhaps you're ready for a little bit of something else. We'll do a waving vinyasa and do some more variations on the next round. So dropping the heel, hips to the heels, rolling through the whole of the spine, dragging the hands back. And here in your up dog, again, gently twisting from side to side if you can. Soften your elbows and knees. Firm in the belly, lifting back through plank into downward facing dog, bouncing forward twice to step forward on the second bounce, one. And inhale the left foot forward, open the chest looking forward, exhaling both feet to the front, hands to feet, head to knees. Inhale to come up, lift the belly, lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, stand tall in Tadasana. I'm just stepping slightly back. Exhaling, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up, firm belly, firm buttocks, opening the chest and exhaling as you fall forward from the hips, soften the knees if you need to. Inhale, step the right foot back, knee to the mat. And here we're going to let the breath go and just gently rock backwards and forwards through our lunge poses. So you can keep the heel down or you can keep the toes down. A couple of each is probably good. Good, nice to do both. And then inhale as you lengthen the back leg and hold your breath as you come into plank pose. Here, we're going to exhale in plank pose and then inhale as we lengthen the right toes off the floor. We're not lifting high, exhaling down. Inhaling, left toes off the floor. Exhaling down. One more time to each side. Inhaling right, looking forward and down. Inhaling left. Exhaling down. Inhaling, and then exhale, knees, chest, forehead, or chin to the floor. Hands wider than the mat this time. Pressing the pubic bone down, pressing into the hands to open your chest, coming up to a wide-armed cobra. And here, we're just gently looking from one side to the other. So a little sway from side to side. Firm belly, firm buttocks. Not gripping, just engaging. And then coming back to center and rolling all the way down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Pressing up into hands and knees and then up into downward facing dog. So we're going to bring our feet more together and down with dog here. Stretch the right foot back and then inhale, lift the right leg up and look towards your hands. And as you exhale, bend the right knee into the chest and bring the nose towards the knee. Inhaling up and exhaling, rounding under. Inhaling up, looking forward, exhaling, rounding under. Last one, exhaling, rounding under, and then inhale as you step your right foot down, left knee comes to the mat, exhaling. Inhale, make big circles with the right arm. We're gonna do three, this is number two. Still a little firmness in the buttocks. And then as you exhale, step both feet to the front into your forward bend. Inhale to come up, lift the belly, lift the arms, lift the chest, open. And exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, stand tall, turn the palms forward. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching open, firm belly, firm buttocks. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, knee down as you exhale. And then just with your breath, uh, in its natural flow, rocking backwards and forwards a little, just to lengthen through the hamstrings, toes down for two, toes up for two. And then coming into your plank pose, widening your feet this time, really pressing through the heels, and you're simply going to tap your opposite shoulder with your hand and down, opposite shoulder, down. See if you can do three of these to each side without compensating too much. 
And then exhaling knees, chest, shoulders, uh, sorry, chin or forehead. Taking the hands wide again for your cobra pose, pressing down with the pubic bone, the tops of the feet, lifting the chest open. And this time as we sway, we're going to twist our shoulders down. So looking to the right, twisting the left shoulder to the floor, pressing all the way up. And then looking to the left, taking the right shoulder to the floor, pressing up. We'll do two more to each side. And just feeling that openness, perhaps underneath the rib cage, because the belly muscles are gently engaged. And the buttocks as well. In the center, coming back down to the mat, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. If you need to come through hands and knees, you can, up into downward facing dog. We're going to step the feet towards each other so they're more centered on the mat. Inhale the left leg up as you look forward towards the hands and then exhale, bend the knee to the chest and the nose towards the knee. Inhaling, reaching up, opening the front of the body. Exhaling, knee to chest, nose to knee. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more. Inhaling. Exhaling knee in and then inhale as you step your foot down and exhale the right knee down. Inhaling, three. Lovely sweeping arm circles with the left arm. Number three. And then inhale as you look forward. Exhale as you step both feet to the front. Inhale to come up. And exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, turn the palms forward as you stand in Tadasana. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reaching up and open. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, step the right foot back. This time, keep the knee off the mat. Press the feet away from each other and use the strength of the legs to come into an upright lunge. You can soften the back knee a little if you want. Reach the arms over your head, inhaling and exhale, pull the elbows back, leaning slightly forward. Inhaling, sweep the arms up, exhaling, pull the elbows back, lean slightly forward. Inhaling and exhaling. Reach the hands to the floor, inhaling as you come into your plank pose. Exhale here. Then we'll do side planks. So drop the heels to the left, inhale the right arm up and exhale back to center. Inhale, heels to the opposite side, left arm up. Exhale back to center. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. One more to each side, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale in the center, exhale, knees, chest, forehead or chin. Reach the arms out in front of you, forehead to the floor, and alternate arms and legs. So reaching the left hand and the right leg away, and then lifting up, pressing the right hand and the left foot down, and release. Reach the right hand and left leg away, Lifting up, pressing the opposite hand and foot down. Going side to side, reach first, then lift and lower. Reach first, then lift and lower. Reach first, lift and lower. Head can come up too. Reach first, lift and lower. One more to each side. Reach first, lift and lower. Hands underneath the shoulders, come back through hands and knees or child's pose if you like, into downward facing dog. I'm doing another three dog, three leg variation here. So lifting the right leg up and we're lifting it as high as feels comfortable and then rolling the right hip onto the left hip without dumping the left shoulder to the floor. Bend the right knee, and open the knees apart from each other for a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then we're going to lengthen the right leg, bring the hips square again, look forward towards the hands 
And exhale as you draw the right knee underneath the body, head towards the knee. Step the right foot underneath the left side of the body. Turn onto the inside of the left foot and the right hand and reach the left arm off the floor, lifting the hips high. Deep breath in for full and triangle. Deep breath out and then return to your three-legged dog. From your three-legged dog, step your right foot all the way forward. Keep the left foot, uh, left knee off the ground and make three circles. One, two, nice deep breaths. Three, and then turn to the front as you inhale. Exhale both feet to the front, hands to feet and head to knees. Inhale to come up. And exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Last round, or last side. Turning the palms forward as you inhale. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, firm belly, firm buttocks to open. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, keep the knee up. Press the feet far away from each other, or further away from each other. Bend the right leg and raise the arms up over the head. So we're opening as we inhale, looking up. As we exhale, elbows down, tipping slightly forward. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, elbows drawn behind us, opening the chest. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling our hands down. We're going to come into our plank pose. And for this plank, we are going to do a side plank and then a, po a possible a possible lift. So we're dropping the heels to the left to lift the right arm up. And then if you want to, you can stack the right foot on top of the left. And if you want to, you can lift the right foot up. And if you want to, whoop, she says, you can even take tree pose. Nah, it's not going to work for me today. But if you take tree pose, you can take the right foot behind you and open into a proper wild thing. And then press off that foot and come back to plank pose. Let's see if it works on the other side. Drop the heels to the right, lift the left arm up. If you want to, you can stack the feet one on top of the other. If you want to, you can lift the left leg up, press underneath the body. Take tree pose, reaching the left arm over. And if you want to, you can just step that foot behind you and open into a full wild thing before pressing off that foot and coming back to plank pose. From here, knees, chest, forehead or chin, reaching the arms down by the sides with the palms turned upwards, forehead to the floor. Press your pubic bone down, press the tops of the feet down, engage the belly and buttocks. As you inhale, lift the head and chest and hands up and exhale, Look down as you reach the arms over the head, palms turned down. Inhale, sweep the hands down to the side, opening the chest, palms are turned up. Exhale, reaching the hands over, palms turned down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Let's do two more. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Slide the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, come through hands and knees if you need to, into downward facing dog. With your feet together, lift your left leg up, and then lifting the leg as high as feels comfortable, stacking the left hip on top of the right hip without dumping the right shoulder to the floor, pressing through the hands still, bending that left knee, taking the knees apart for a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then we're going to lengthen that left leg, square the hips again, look forward and bend the knee into the chest, the head towards the knee, reach the left leg underneath the right leg as we twist onto the inside of the right foot and reach the right arm up and over. A little fallen triangle here for a deep breath in, deep breath out and then we're coming back to the mat Back to our three-legged dog. Step your left foot forward to your hands. Leave your right hand down, your right knee up, and take three big circles through the left hand, 
a little twist here, a little firmness in the buttocks here. And then looking towards the front as you inhale, exhale as you step both feet to the front, widen your feet. We're gonna hold this forward bend. Turn the backs of the hands towards the floor or hold elbow to elbow if they don't reach. And soften your knees. Sway a little from side to side. Maybe turn your head a little from side to side. Feel everything sort of settling down. If you want to, you can roll your shoulder blades down your back to create a little length through the back of the neck and do a little shake of the head no, nod of the head yes, shake of the head no. And then in your own time, we're going to soften the knees quite deeply, press through the feet and roll up to standing. And when we come up to standing, we're going to reach the arms up opening the chest looking up and exhaling the hands to the center of the chest take a moment to feel the effect of your practice in your tadasana pose if it helps you can breathe in and sigh out through your mouth That helps us to just let go of anything that we've created tension-wise in the front of the body. You need to shake anything out, shake anything out. And this is the perfect time to do the posture that you enjoy the most. Perhaps it's a balance or a handstand or a headstand or a bridge pose, and then take a relaxation. But this was just a little short practice, especially for you, Morag, and I wish you namaste. I hope it's just what you needed. <laughs>